Isn't this a long way to come for lunch? Hello, Lars. What are you doing in Pine Valley? Ellen? What do you mean? What do you mean? Why, why can't we tell anybody? Jesse, the reason Mom came over to school to see me was to let me know that Dad called her, called her this morning. He wants them to go to a marriage counselor. Hey, well, lots of luck. Well, you know, Mom's real excited. I mean, she thinks it's a real breakthrough that Daddy's willing to seek help. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm real happy for her. I mean, if that's what she wants, I'm glad. Yeah, but... Oh, you don't know how depressed she's been since Daddy walked okay, out. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Enough about Mommy and Daddy. What I want to know is, why can't we tell people we married Angie, huh? Jesse, because Daddy will just spaz out. Well, so what? He's going he's, he's gonna to have to find out sooner or later anyway. I know, but not now. I mean, not when he's making an effort to get back with Mom. He'll blame her for letting me go out with you again. Ah, oh, man, I don't believe this girl. I don't... Come on, Jesse. I mean, we both know that we're the main reason they broke up. I gotta be fair to Mom. So what do you want to do? Get a divorce? Don't be silly. No, this ain't making no sense to me, Angela. Jesse, look. I, I just want to, you know, give them a little time to work things out before I hit them with this news. Is that too much to ask? Yeah. Yeah, it is. But nobody knows about it yet. I mean, why can't we just, you know, keep it our secret for a while? You're asking me to keep the biggest thing in my, the biggest thing in my life. You want me to keep that a secret, Angela? Oh, Jesse, this is as hard on me as it is on you. But I, I can't, I can't blow this chance for them to get back together. Well, what about us? What about our marriage? You, you don't care about blowing that? Jesse, we have a whole lifetime ahead of us. Can't I just give my parents a little time? Just that we're too old to be playing these kind of games. Now, see, now, we are Mr. and Mrs. Jesse Hubbard, and I want everybody to be able to know that. So do I. But I, I want to be able to announce it without worrying about how it might hurt my mom. How long do you think we're going to have to wait, huh? I'm not sure, but it shouldn't be too long. Angie! What a surprise! How nice to see you. You too, Mrs. Grant. So, Jesse, what is it? What is this wonderful news that you couldn't wait to tell me? All my children will continue in a moment. Right, right. Well, you just walked in on it. <laughs> what? Ah, uh, my good news. Me and Angie, we're back together again, and she just dropped by so you can see for yourself. Oh, oh, that's terrific. <laughs> I had given up on the two of you just about. <laughs> well, thanks to Jesse, we've managed to talk things over. <clears throat> you mean you finally swallowed that stubborn pride of yours? Yeah, right. Well, I gave her a call and told her I was... Willing to meet her more than halfway. <laughs> and he did, Mrs. Grant. He was wonderful. Well, I couldn't be happier. Life is too short to spend it apart from the people you care about. Hey, that's right. And uh, I want you to make sure you don't tell Mrs. Baxter that we've seen each other again, you know. Why? She likes you. Yeah, yeah but, but my dad just called her. And they're talking about a reconciliation. In fact, they're going to see a marriage counselor today. Well, that's a good first step, Angie. Let's hope that the marriage counselor will help your dad to get past his, um, unreasonable attitude. Well, that's what we're praying for. But right now, Daddy thinks that Jesse and I aren't seeing each other. Oh, I see. And you think if he found out about the two of you that it might get in the way? Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I don't want them arguing over me the first day they're back together. Well, that's very thoughtful of you, Angie, but you do understand that their problems go much deeper than just this situation. Yeah, yes, I do understand that, but they will never even get to those problems if this one hits them first. Mm, I suppose you've got a point. So, for now, Jesse and I just have to be a little 
patient. Well, I know that's going to be kind of hard on the two of you. I'm sure you want to start going out together again. Yeah, well, maybe we just have to keep on sneaking around for time being. And we're going to have to ask you to help us, if you will. Well, uh, I'll do what I can do. <laughs> In the meantime, will you join us for lunch? Oh, I'd love to, but you have to let me help you fix it. Oh, no, 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 no. I think you should just stay here and talk to Jesse. Uh, something tells me that he would like to have you to himself. Hey, uh, Nancy, you're pretty sharp there. <laughs> oh, thank you for not telling her. Uh, it's just a, it seems so wrong not to be able to tell her. You know, this lady, she's the only family I got now. I know. But Jesse, you won't be too much longer. Well, it better not be. Because I want to tell the whole world that you are my wife. What I can't figure out is what Eric is using for money. Please, Mona, don't worry. Oh, I can't help it, Mark. I mean, how's she managing to live? Food and shelter cost money. I mean, she may get herself into even worse trouble. Heaven knows what she'll be reduced to. Now listen to me. We both spoke to Erica on the phone today, and she sounded okay, didn't she? I don't know what you mean by okay. Well, she didn't. She didn't sound sick or or even tired. Am I right? But we we both know that she's having a lot of problems. I mean, her purse was stolen. Yes, but she had this huge suitcase. Well, just tell me, what can she do with a whole lot of clothes? Oh, Mona, Erica is very resourceful. Remember that blonde wig she wore the last time she wanted to be all alone? I know, but she, she had plenty of money with her then. Listen to me, I'm sure everything is in good shape. If anything terrible had happened, I'm sure she would have told us. Oh, Mark, honey. Oh, I hope you're right. Mr. Duffy has a real problem about collecting things. I have to force him to throw out old magazines. If I didn't, they'd be stuck to the ceiling. I need to speak to you. Christine. Now, you mustn't keep on badgering me. You know I'm in no position to help you. Oh, well, no. Um, it's, it's not that. I just wanted to tell you that I'm not going home after all. Of course you're not. You don't have the car fare. No, I mean, even if I did, I... I've decided that I'm better off if I stay here. I mean, that is if you let me work off my room and board. But, um, I don't know how long I'm going to need you. Well, my goodness, look at, look at what a good job I've done. I mean, I don't think that some of this furniture has been cleaned in years. Mm -hmm. I agree, I haven't had very good help lately. But I don't understand why you've changed your mind about going home. Well, I just, I just decided that it wasn't the right time for me to go home, that's all. You're not in any kind of trouble, are you? No, of course I'm not in any trouble. Actually, it's my boyfriend. I recently found out that I can't trust him. Oh, he's one of those heartbreakers, is he? Yes. How did you know? I've had plenty of experience with that type. I see. Yes, well, he certainly is that type. I mean, as you say, he, he's broken my heart. Not once, but many times. He keeps on asking you every time to forgive him, is that it? Yes. And I just can't go through it anymore. I really can't. And that's why I need to stay here, because I don't want my boyfriend to know where I am. 